Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a photo shutter in Illustrator. First thing, go and select the stroke. So I'm going to flip this from field to stroke. Make sure that you don't have anything on the field. Click on the field, click on the none, click on the stroke. Long click on the rectangle, select the circle. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, create a circle. Press and hold Alt, drag it down. Also press Shift. Make sure to intersect it right here. Select both, press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F, or you can go to edit and paste in front. Select the rotate tool, double click on the rotate tool, type in 60 degrees, press on copy, press Ctrl D. Select the upper circle, press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F, press and hold Shift, scale it down until they intersect at the center point. Now the thing is, if I'm gonna zoom in here in these zones, I'm gonna press Ctrl Y, if I'm going to zoom in, they don't touch each other. So this is a little bit of a problem. I can press Ctrl Y again, select the circle and press and hold Shift plus Alt, make it a little bit smaller. There you go. From here, I can select the pen tool. Here, it has to be an anchor point. See that? Click on this anchor point and connect it with this anchor point down here on the circle. So basically, it's going to be separated. They won't, you know, stick to each other. Press and hold Alt and drag it to the left, also press shift and make it intersect here. Select both, press and hold shift and also select this one, right click group, go to the rotate tool, double click on it. We're gonna go with 60 degrees, click on copy and press control D again. Select all of it, press shift plus M or you can go here and select the shape builder tool. And we're gonna start connecting these. So I'm gonna start from here and connect and it's gonna look like a claw. So as you can see, uh, we got some of the elements grouped together. I'm gonna right click on group and now we have this ungrouped. So there's like also some unnecessary anchor points. We can simplify that. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna go to object, path, simplify. So it got a little bit distorted. I'm gonna click on these three dots and make sure to select show original path. I'm gonna bump this up to 100%, click OK. It's gonna reduce a little bit of the anchor points, make it a little bit more cleaner. It's not that great of a tool, but you know, it makes it better. From here, I'm gonna go to the stroke and flip it with this to fill. I'm gonna go to the gradient, select a gradient, actually it's on the gradient already. I'm gonna double click on this. Usually by default is black and white like this one. Okay, uh, I'm gonna select the rotate tool. I'm going to press and hold Alt and go here where the center is, the intersection point. Click on it, 60 degrees again, click on copy, control D, control D until it goes round and round. And this is how we create a camera shutter in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.